back to another episode of Yak Thrashers. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm not working today. Hallelujah. But it is super hot. I'm not getting out of the water. So today I'm going to do the review over the Yak Attack Black Pack. By far the best storage unit I've ever had on my boat. I've, you know, and I, I've never bought any other type of, you know, storage unit. I've always did DIY or did any type of crate or anything like that. But this is actually the first one I've ever bought. And this thing will blow your mind. It'll, 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 the rigging options on this box alone will absolutely just blow your mind. It is so universal. It is so just incredible about how this product works. And guys, if you hear any loud noises or any loud bang, it's just a little man just going crazy. He's starting to learn how to walk, so he's getting into everything. So, bear with us. We're getting through this together. So, back to where I was at, it is completely universal. You can, the, the rigging options, like I said, on this thing is sky's the limit, guys. You can basically put anything you want to on this. It'll fit in most of the kayak tank wells, um, but if it doesn't fit, um, you can, sorry for the camera shaking. If it doesn't fit, then you can actually, you know, set the rod holders up a different way. But we'll get that into it in a minute where it will all fit them. Basically almost any boat. So, right out of the box, this is not out of the box. This is not how it comes. It basically comes in, a, you know, a flat box and you basically put it together. It comes with all the hardware. It comes with all the sides. It comes with all the bungees. And it comes with three rod holders. I added these over here separate, but we'll cover that in just a minute. Um, but so basically you get it, you lay it all out. The directions are surprisingly very well. I thought, you know, I'm typically the guy who can look at a picture and I don't need instructions. And sometimes that goes very good and sometimes that goes very bad. So I actually read the directions on this one and it was fairly easy. I think a total of maybe 20 minutes. I had it completely rigged out and ready to rock and roll and I was starting to outfit it with stickers and stuff. So it worked out well for me. But um, it comes with everything you need. It comes with all the sides, rod holders, and all the hardware and bungees you need to build the box. Once you get the box built up, then the fun begins. You can rig up however you want. There is on the top. Well, basically, let's just go over the box first. It's a very deep and wide box, but like I said before, you can actually... This can fit in almost every tank well of, of every kind. You know, it might be a little bit shorter, the tank well might be, or it might be a little bit different, but the way you can set up your rod holders will actually make it fit in just about anything, like I did with my Seagos. Um, it'll fit in the tank well kind of longer ways, but I wanted it to be basically, if I'm sitting right here, paddling or fishing, whatever, this is how my box is, I can flip up my hatch just like that and get to my stuff. Some people like it to flip it from the side, so on and so forth, but that's just how I like it. Um, so basically, I had, I got three rod holders on this side, and I did have three on this side, but I was heading home from the lake uh, on the from the pond thrashing video, and I didn't have the, all the hardware for the, the second, the separate set of three rod holders I got. I had to basically just kind of mix and match and actually go get some, but the nuts didn't fit on the ones I got. So I kind of got, kind of got jipped out of that one. So I kind of just, you know, I had basically two screws go in each rod holder, and I only had one at the top of each rod holder. So it was very wiggly and very flimsy. Um, it wouldn't tap down completely, and, and it moved a lot. So I was cruising on the road. I get home, and it wasn't there. So obviously it went flew out of the, out of the back of the truck. So it is what it is. Quick, easy fix. But back at it. So. Basically, how I run it on my ghost is I have three rod holders on each side. Like I said, if I'm paddling this way, it's right here. Um, and in the sea ghost, it will fit long ways, but but or it will fit long ways, but it will not fit width wise or you know side to side. The box will, but the rod holders won't. So if you don't have rod holders on, it'll fit snug right in there. You won't you won't have no problems. You can actually put your rod holders on each side. And so that's what's good about this is you don't necessarily have to have your lid like this. You can actually have it whichever way you want to, and that's killer. Um, you can kind of make it your own. But with my, on my Seagos, I basically have three on each side, and these rod holders actually sit on the tracks in the back of my tank well, and it actually elevates the box up some so you can actually fit you know, an anchor or you know a dry bag or whatever up under it. So this is a pretty, pretty cool little feature, and I like it a lot. So whenever I get the boat, get it back on the boat, I'll try to show that to you one day or so on and so forth. But 
Um, back at the box, um, like I said, you can you can you don't have to have it like this. You can put your rollers back here, one on each side, however you want to do it. Um, but this is just what fits me the best. It comes with a nice, easy lid to lift up and down. And the cool thing about it is um, it don't have hinges. So I thought that was pretty nifty. Um, some people like it, some people don't, but it's all bungee cord. Um, your hinge on the back is bungee cord, and then your hinge up front is bungee cord too that locks on top of that lid. So um, I like it. I like, you know, I like ropes. I like to be different, and, and this is definitely different. And the cool thing about this is, like I said, you can put however much you want to on the side, but on the top, you can actually put rail systems, ram balls, mighty mounts, whatever you want, either from Yak Attack, Ram, Rail Blazer, or, or whoever it might be, Yak Gear, you can actually, these this will fit. This is, this is why it's such a great product, because it's so universal to all sorts of accessories. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to actually get some, some rails in this from Yak Attack, and I'm going to put them on the side so I can attach my camera. Uh, my camera mount up and you know other different stuff. I want some Zuka tubes I can do that too or rocket launchers whatever you want to call them. So that's what I'm that's gonna be next for it But that's pretty much it guys. It is a Phenomenal outstanding very good product very strong and very sturdy too um, I was getting kind of worried because if you basically put each piece on and I didn't want each piece to get kind of wiggly and wobbly but it all fit very well together and all the screws fit and it it's very sturdy. It comes with this marine plastic, I guess, whatever you want to call it. Very rough. Um, the only trouble I've had with it, or the only stickers, or the only, you know, hurdle I'm trying to come across is putting stickers onto it because um, they don't want to stick because it's kind of a rough surface. So I'm trying to do a little finagling, a little bit of testing on some new adhesives to try to get some stickers to stick. I'm sure it's going to be pretty cut and dry and simple, but hey, gives me something to do, guys. But guys, that is pretty much it. That is the Yak Attack Black Pack. Awesome, I love it. And guys, check out the inside. I don't know if y'all can see it from there, but look at that. I have a Tupperware container with all my, you know, you know, all my dew wipes and stuff like that and, and sprays and scents. And then I have a waterproof box. I have swim baits, I have plastic, I have crank baits. I don't even have my anchor in here. And I still have plenty of room for more Plano boxes or whatever else I want to put in. The storage or the room in this box alone is phenomenal. It's outstanding. Um, the only thing I have read or I've, I've seen in research researching the product is the uh, they they mainly fit every tackle box, especially the 3600, 3700 Plano tackle boxes. But if you have the Bass Mafia boxes, they'll fit in here, but you kind of got to turn a little bit sideways. So a lot of people have been taking a routing tool or, or whatever, you know, something to basically trim this down on the sides because it kind of hangs over and basically where they can just slide it in and out. That's the only other issue I've, I've read about it. Great product, gonna last forever, I can tell just by the way it's made and the, and, and the material it's made out of it. Awesome, guys, I love it, guys. So I'm gonna get off here, I'm gonna get this video posted up for y'all and get about my day because my son is going through trash bags right now or clothing bags, sorry not trash bags, it's not gross guys. So um, I gotta control him, but guys, if y'all are liking this type of stuff, please guys, please, if you like this type of video, then you, if you wanna see more of this, go ahead and smash that thumbs up, give me a like, you know, leave me a comment too, if, if I'm doing a good job or if I'm, if I'm not doing a good job, if y'all want a product reviewed, you know, hit me up and I'll get, up, get my hands on it and I will, I'll do a review of it for you. And if y'all have any questions, comments, concerns about the Yak Attack, you know, go ahead and drop in the comment section below. And I will, if I don't know the answer to them, by God, I will find the answer for you and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Like I said, guys, I've been pretty, pretty good at getting back on comments within a day or so. So, you know, bear with me. I'm a busy person, so, but I'm trying to do this the best I can. And guys, if y'all want to see more of this type of stuff, if y'all want to see, you know, more of my crazy face, go ahead and smash that subscribe button too and hit that little bell up top where it'll alert you every time I upload a video, guys. But I hope I hope some of y'all are fishing. I'm not, because it is super hot in Georgia, and I'm controlling little man. Right now, he is shredding paper. Outstanding. Good job, son. Proud of you. Daddy's proud. But, um, guys, stay classy. Keep them tight lines. And, guys, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. I'll be working. But, guys, go catch some fish. Go get on the water and just enjoy your weekend, guys. So, I'm going to cut out. Hope everyone has a good one. See you on the water, guys. I'm going to go.
Deuces!